question ourselves and i think there lies the answer of integrating art education however i would like the esteemed speakers to throw light on how it can be practiced how it can be uh, integrated in our curriculum i mean we need to have i i would love if some of your participants come up for my next webinar and say sir i would like to make a presentation on the integration of art education that means as kushbu said the training will we will be well trained you have to participate you have to get involved you see you should not be listening in a webinar you could also come this platform this td educational trust is a platform of yours and you can also come and participate today i have my own teachers coming in and participating i would like more of them to come and join i have had my days i would like a new breed of new tribe of teachers who could be so integrated in the art of teaching so however there are three things i would like to highlight in all respects with regard to art education or integrating art education one is education of senses i think when we are educating our senses we are integrating art education and education of our intellect education of our senses education of our intellect education of our feelings when we educate our feelings we will integrate if you have a great feelings for theater as i always do i integrate teaching in the english literature i i integrate my talent in the poem that which is not poem also is not to be taught again it is an education of feelings and this we can create using this three one education of senses education of intellect and education of feelings and again it's not something new in 1996 the unesco also came forward with four pillars of learning four pillars learning to know learning to do learning to live together loving to be what you are i think all these are a, a kind of a generalized uh, idea that i wanted to share uh, though we can delve into a depth into it and if this particular topic can be stretched for a number of sessions and and i'm really it will be very interesting to see how we would be able to integrate art in education I request Miss Neelam. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Kushpu. Thank you, sir. It's quite a diverse platform that I'm seeing here. I mean, teachers from all parts of the country and even abroad. Um, this is really going to be a challenging task. Within thirty minutes, you've given me that. Okay, fine. I need to talk about art integration. As you are passionate about talking about it, I'm equally passionate. Uh, training teachers and talking about it yes what you said it depends upon how the teacher takes it art integration what cbsc has come forward with now to start off with the integration in all the subjects is something like uh, i had been practicing along with my teachers in various schools the various startups and that's the kind of pedagogy and the methodology that we had been following and today like cbsc is enforcing it yes it is not supposed to be taken as an extra curricular activity it is a part of the curriculum that's why we call it integrated integrated into the curriculum whether be it the visual arts or the performing arts as we say like arts i'm just going to share my screen now with you so that i just have a limited time period let me just try to do some justice to it and probably later on we can have more sessions regarding this so i'm going to share my screen and it will be more of a blend of what 
we have been executing more of the examples of art integration coming from what our teachers have been doing and something what we expect how it is woven into different stages whether be it visual arts or performing arts So this is about the conceptual understanding through art integration that we are talking about. What do you mean by the conceptual understanding? When we talk about the conceptual understanding through art integration, it's like, it's not about gaining, there's, there are certain things involved when a child is learning, when a student is learning. The areas involved are knowledge, concepts, skills, and how the child is, or the student is going to apply those knowledge, concepts, and skills into practical learning and experience. So when we focus on any kind of education, whether be it an elementary or what you call the primary education, the middle school or the higher school or the senior secondary education, we focus on the conceptual understanding more than on the knowledge part. Knowledge is information. It is there everywhere. You and me can Google it and get it. But what matters is how well they understand the concepts. That's where they take it forward and apply it into the daily life. Yes, art is a universal language. It is a language that binds all the cultures and the beliefs and helps us communicate between each other. When I say art, or when we are talking about art integration, it is not just about drawing and sketching. Art is visible in every form, in every dimension. So that is what we are talking about. It is a language that contributes to global con conversation. It caters to the different styles of learning. How it caters to different styles of learning is something when we understand that there are varied styles of learning. That is why when we say one kind of studies do not fit all. So this is the different styles of learning. You all must have heard of uh, multiple intelligence, multiple intelligence uh, by Howard Gardner. So Howard Gardner had listed these multiple intelligence. When we talk about the style of learning, the style of learning is you it can be blended into the multiple intelligence, but all the multiple intelligence may not be represented in this type of learning. When we talk about the style of learning, it is the visual, it is the auditory, the tactile, tactile, and the kinesthetic learning. So when we talk about all this, it is there's a linguistic pattern here rather than the tactile pattern here. So it is about visual is where the visual art comes into focus where everything related to text, pictures, emotions that is visible to us comes to in picture. Auditory is something that comes in picture when we talk about you listening to me, uh, then the music, the sounds. That's how uh, certain students learn better when are uh, more of a visual learner, some are more of an auditory learner, some are more of a linguistic learner, and some learn by doing. When you learn by doing, you are more of a tactile and a kinesthetic learner, I would say, because it is a blend. It is a blend of learning. When we talk about art integration, we have to think that art integration, any integration is a behavior. What do you mean by integration? It is a kind of a a transdisciplinary approach. When you blend something and you just cannot make out how it is happening and you're trying to represent it in different forms. So that is what is an integration. Integration is a behavior which is harmony, which is in harmony with the environment. So it is clearly stated in that when students learn through art, they apply it in a way that they can remember it and become lifelong learners. That is what my personal belief is, and that's what I keep telling 
my staff and my teachers and my students that you need to actually touch feel and sense it to take that concept forward with a better understanding. Otherwise, it just goes waste. That is what is the different styles of learning. We have students in a class who exhibit different styles of learning. How much do we focus on that? We just focus on the slow learners, the moderate learners, and the fast learners. But more than that, we have to focus on the styles of learning. When the styles of learning comes, that's where the integration comes. <laughs> So when we said, what is art? Art is visualization. There's something that you can imagine that visualize, it leads to creativity. It is an expression. It is an idea, an idea that will lead to more creation and innovation by the child because the child will be able to do a creative and critical thinking. The creative and critical thinking is what is the requirement of today's education, 21st century education. And this 2020 has taught us that the old traditional kind of learning is not going to take you anywhere. It's more about adaptation. How well you adapt to a different learning environment. So this adaptation, when we are adapting to a different learning environment, we are actually preparing the students and the students are preparing themselves for the jobs, for the future, which they are not aware of. The jobs that are not going to, that are not existing now, but maybe existing later on. That's why it has to involve all the different styles of learning, visual, auditory, linguistic, or kinesthetic. Linguistic is about writing, expressing through writing, language, speaking. Okay, so in this, uh, today's, I'll just try to cover these five points in general in whatever limited time that I have. First of all, it is a student-centered approach. So we are going to touch upon how we use art integration to develop an understanding of the concepts and all the different disciplines. What are the concepts we want them to develop, to develop an enduring understanding. Enduring understanding is not a superficial understanding. It is more an in-depth core understanding of a particular topic or uh, I would say an idea that they want to take forward. What are the skills that can be developed through art integration? How art integration supports different disciplines, whether it be it science, mathematics, your uh, social or languages, anything. So how does that uh, art integration support these disciplines? How art integration can be used in assessment, diff depicting different learning styles? We always, when we think of art integration, we think, okay, art integration is all about, oh, I just need to make them do a role play, make them do this. But we always forget that, how do we take it forward to assessment? Because if the child uh, is of uh, have, having an ability to learn in a different manner, why are we not giving the child, uh, the student an ability, sorry, the opportunity to take the assessment in a different manner. So it's not about just integrating in your teaching and learning, but it is about taking it into assessment also. So I'll just be showing a few examples and then we can take a discussion forward on this later. As you know, the experiential cycle, it involves uh, the calls experiential cycle. You all must have been aware of. You all must, uh, as teachers, we must be using it. Uh, now, when we, what we use mostly is an inquiry-based approach, a student-centric approach. But yes, experiential cycle is there in every stage. When we talk about uh, the prior knowledge, is a stage one. How much does this child know? How much does the child know? Do we ever test that? That is one thing that we need to test. From there, from where to begin the class? For the example, there's a class of 30 students. You should be knowing from where to take the topic from, not just opening a chapter and starting off, but from where? What if the child already knows? Why are you going on repeating it? What if out of 30 students, 25 students know about it? Then how are you going to check the prior knowledge? So this prior knowledge is the stage one where all these kind of integration will come, the gallery walk. 
gallery walk is looking through the pictures, wondering. There are lots of visible thinking routines and strategies involved in this when it comes to art integration. There is not sufficient time for me to take the visible thinking routines and strategies because that's a total uh, area in its, itself, how the teachers take up those strategies and learner engagements. So it comes to gallery walk, artifact displays. What are artifact displays? You just display them because these are the provocations. How are you going to find out whether the child knows that? And along with it come, we will come a prior knowledge or a diagnostic assessment, a collage, an audio song, a narration, a sound, video, painting, picture, theater, dramatics, anything. So for them, for you to find out how much do the students know, and what is their prior experience and from where should I begin? Then comes in stage two, where it's more about researching. So it involves, yes, researching involves all kinds of audio, video, print, media, text, concept maps, whatever you're presenting, the handouts, uh, the illustrations that uh, you uh, is being done. And now in online platform, yes, there are a lot of ways when we are um, making them find out. It is not about, we are not telling them, okay, just go, go to this link and just find out. There are different ways, probably this can also be taken in a different session. So when it comes to conceptualizing, it is, a, uh, as it is a constructivist, uh, experiential learning, constructivist is more of an inquiry-based student-centric learning. So when it comes to applying uh, and making connections, it is like they have researched, they have found out, and now they need to put it down in writing somewhere so that they can present their findings. So how does that come? That comes through concept maps, mind maps, creating an audio, video, presentation, PPT presentation. Uh, like I was given this, so fine, I have to go through it, I have to understand, I have to research, I have to find out and then make a PPT and then presenting it to you. That is what it is. Then role play, dance, drama, music, visual art, collage. They can create a collage representation of findings. They can do a narration, story narration. They can create a story. They can illustrate, they can design. All this comes when it makes, comes to presenting their finding, their learning. Now comes to the stage four, when it comes to review and action that have they done it correctly. That's where the teacher's role should be coming in picture. That's where the teacher, all throughout the teacher is a facilitator. This is where you're going to actually tell them, okay, all throughout you're guiding them. And then the reflection through design, innovation, theater, dramatics, performance, community plays, role plays, exhibitions, assembly displays for the whole school to understand, for the whole community to take it, something that they can design out of it because they have gained a complete conceptual understanding of the whole topic. So these are the four stages that are involved in the pedagogy of experiential learning. And this is something, yes, CBSE has been emphasizing on. In fact, nowadays, all, all international national education has been emphasizing on because this is the need of the generation. They need to start thinking in this manner. Okay, I'll just give you this. I just need to tell you this. Okay, wait, can you just look at the picture? What is going on in the picture? If you can just tell me what is going on in the picture. It is like for prior knowledge, like all of us can't uh, chat here. Now we'll op open the session for discussion and questions later. So like, if you see this picture, it is a kind of a provocation. It is to be used in stage one. It can be used in stage one, it can be used in stage two for finding out. What are the concepts that we are touching on? It is related to language, so we are touching on the perspective, probably the symbolism, relationship, conflict, pattern or rhythm. What is a concept? Concept is a universal thing which cannot be, it is an open universal acceptance. So like if you say, when I say a family, family is a concept, perspective is a concept because you can explore more and more into it. That is what we mean by concepts. So this is what, when we look at a picture, what then from here you can say, fine, what do you see in a picture? You can provoke the students. Probably you are teaching them a poetry or a story, story writing, 
or you are going to take up a prose uh, lesson after this and you just tell them first just look at the picture you don't you don't have to start off with the lesson straight away open the text and start reading out and okay the children are getting bored that's not the way so this is the provocation so that's where you're going to say okay point and paraphrase then that's where the interaction comes that's where the teachers guided questions come then the students are going to say okay what do i notice and wonder you're going to make them notice and wonder so objective here is like what are you going to teach the comprehension advertisement review writing extempore vocabulary verb conjunction by making them do this if you're looking at the pictures many of the thoughts could be coming to your mind like okay fine there is a woman sitting there there is a man there probably it's a poetry she's just um you can say okay in which era was it and then she is talking about it then there are lots of skills being developed when we talk of skills there are five main skills this thinking skills which involves the critical thinking creative thinking um then uh, when where you have all the emotive developments based on the thinking then comes the communication skills as you know the language is based on l s r w okay l s r w so l s r w is the listening skills the speaking skills the reading skills and the writing skills when we talk of l s r w we have to keep in mind that when we have a certain chapters in language certain lessons in language we divide them based on what lessons are actually helpful for listening skills developing the listening and speaking skills what lessons are helpful for developing their listening and reading skills and how are we going to bring out those lessons into their writing skills that is how we are supposed to plan a language lesson plan because it has to be divided under these four skills main uh, purpose of language is to acquire and understand new vocabulary right from the beginning the structure of a sentence the structure of a grammar decoding illustrations pictures for comprehension so that they are able to comprehend the text and from the picture and imagine and write so that is what is creative thinking and critically analyzing that thinking to enhance memory and deepen reading comprehension that is another thing they have to keep on memorizing that memory uh, memory doesn't come when we just keep on mugging it comes more by practice here when it is in a different spheres the power of pictures yes we cannot let go that because what when we watch a movie or when we watch a picture it stays in our mind for a longer time compared to when we just hear anybody just narrate it or talk about it for some those who are visual learners it is a powerful tool exploring vocabulary and meaning with dance they can do that that is the stage 3 and stage 4 how they can break forth that language they can express this involves expression this is all about expression building reading comprehension through sound and rhythm how the voice modulation happens how am i speaking how are you listening how are you comprehending so based on our sound and rhythm and based on how we associate it with different music different sound that is what where this lsrw skills can be enhanced in language so we in our school like i'll just give you an example how the dance integration happen these are the students of uh, primary elementary uh, school so they read a particular story and from a given book and then this uh, teacher had told them okay these stories you can narrate in your ways so they divided themselves into different groups and some narrated it through street plays some are narrated it through dance integration so they did a movement focusing on the recalling the memory and listening skills because how is saying there is a story narration going on and they are enacting the story here so this will stay in their mind for a longer time we don't have to talk about was the value being added at the end of the chapter the value itself will come will be comprehended by them will be brought out through their actions and the way they display it 
when it comes to visual art integration, students were learning about how the cities are being built. There was a chapter in this, and then they're talking about the writing a letter to the uh, BBMP and the commissioner and all this. And in that, when we took it up as a learner engagement, it was like, if they could design, they could visualize, they could visualize a city that they need to make. Now, when we say creative writing, it is a part of creative writing. When we say creative writing, we just tell them, okay, do a creative writing on so-and-so or write an essay on so-and-so. But are we giving the different style uh, learners an opportunity to uh, depict in different manner? Maybe they are not so uh, thorough in writing uh, every bit of it. Now, when it comes to, we used to say, we used to focus on, okay, please, you write clearly. Everything has to be neat and clear, a cursive writing, full stop, this, that. What happened in suddenly in 2020? What happened to us suddenly in 2020? What happened to us when WhatsApp came? What happened to us when uh, all these uh, social media and apps came? Suddenly, we're just coming back to writing. And when we are told to use a whiteboard, how difficult it is to write. So let us, I mean, these are required. Yes, they have to know the structure of the grammar. They have to know how they have to construct. But if there are different styles of learners, we have to give them an opportunity to express in a different manner. That's why we said, okay, do a creative visualization. The creative visualization came in the form of writing and a pictorial depiction in the form of an illustration. So an illustration was done. That is how they did. So it is more, uh, the focus is on how you frame the learning objective. It is called a learning objective. The learning objective is a question, how the child takes it. First of all, if you always put it forward to the child, like as the uh, child is uh, doing on his or her own, it can, it's not applicable only to elementary school. It is applicable to all the, all the year levels. So when I say, I am going to write this, or I am going to speak this out in front of you, that comes as an affirmation to me and I will do it. But when you give me an instruction that Neelam do this, I might feel my inhibitions coming forward. So when they, you are making them write an objective, it should be written in such a manner so that their creative ideas, their views can come forward in these form of expressions also. That is just one part of it. I just wanted to... Because it is very, very important, which we forget. Uh, one Hindi language depiction they did, and um, um, I think my there might be a slight delay in the video because of the connection issues. But this is the uh, students are displaying uh, through a role play in the assembly, which is the stage, last stage. And uh, how to prevent that there was a lesson, a topic in their uh, Hindi language. So this is just a glimpse of it, how they can do it. This is also an art integration. It is a role play. But where, where is it coming? It is coming in the last stage, the stage Four, where they are presenting to the whole school, they're learning what they did, what they learned. Okay, when it comes to mathematics, now the related concepts that we have taken are the form, logic, and change. I've used the same picture. We should not think that the same picture can only be, I mean, that one picture can be used only for language. Why can't I use this for mathematics? What do I, what do I observe in this? There are so many things. If you see, there are patterns, there are uh, squares, I mean, shapes there, there are, uh, you can see angles there. There are so many things. Notice the pattern of occurrence. You can ask the students to notice that. Frame a word problem based on this. Students can frame a word problem based on this. They can, 
count this and where all can it be used? It can be used in aptitude. It is also a kind of a provocation rather than starting the chapter immediately. It is a provocation for aptitude problem creations, for fractions, for ratios, for, for all four basic operations of your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, for angles, for geometry, for data handling, and for creating word problems. Now you might ask how it is, how it is not, probably towards the end, we can just discuss this because I'll take you forward how it can be expressed. This is one way, this is a provocation. This can be used in stage one and stage two of your experiential cycle where they are uh, being introduced to a topic or they are told to find out. So they might calculate, they can talk about the number of, uh, they can have the area perimeter. I forgot to include that area perimeter. Mensuration can be used here. So all that can be used in this. The 3D uh, figure math talks, we all know, yes, you always, uh, these are the teacher guided questions, the teacher guided provocations, how do you feel the corner and all this. So what mathematic concept operations do you observe in this image? There are a lot of concepts. And first you have to start seeing things in that focus, then only you will be able to convince the students that, okay, these things do exist. There is math around, mathematics all around us. There is mathematics in and around, there is physics in and around everywhere. And we interpret in our language. That is how we take it. So these are a few examples that I have taken in this limited time. I don't have much to explain. So this is about the stage one where the students' prior knowledge and understanding is being depicted. The students were actually exploring the angles. They literally sat on the floor, they drew all the angles, they took the scale, and then it's not something that teacher was telling them. Okay, angle is like this, angle is like this. They kept the book, they found, uh, took more resources from the library and then they started doing it. So this was a finding out stage for them. Thereafter, this is about the uh, mensuration where all the metric lab, uh, ladder was created by them in different manner. And this is uh, creating patterns to uh, tessellation. And this is about how they presented. They did their research, they did their finding, and then they presented it to the whole class. And that's where the teacher got them uh, correcting on their mistakes. That's where the teacher guided them. Okay, this can be done like this. It is wrong, it is right, and this we can change. All this is art integration in various forms. This is also art integration. Ever heard of uh, doing mathematics through dance? This is really catching up. It is a part of tutting. There is a dance called tutting, T-U-T-T-I-N-G, tutting. So it involves all fast movements. And when you say, you will see that it involves lots of movements which can be expressed through the way they are doing it. We never imagined that dance could express mathematics and the basic operations, the symbols and everything, but it is a part of the touching dance. So it is, it can be expressed. See, the ratio is being expressed like this. See, it is, uh, when we talk of art integration, it is about emphasizing on the learning. It is never to be taken as a stand alone or something that they are doing it separately. It has to be taken as a part of their learning, emphasizing and enhancing their learning so that their concepts are clearer than before. So when it comes to social science, again, I have taken the same picture. Why can't it, this picture be taken for social science? It can be taken. We are talking about touching on the concepts of global perspective, relationships, cultures, communities, space and time. Which era was it? What do you observe? Timeline and era depicted. This is a provocation that you will have for the students initially. Guess the cultural and historical connect any, and any relevance to today's world that you can always talk. So it is civilization, cultural studies, economics. And here also you're enhancing their critical thinking, creative thinking, research skills. 
all these skills are being enhanced. So social science, when it comes, yes, in, um, in uh, online learning, we're using a Jamboard. This is uh, grade six. They were using a Jamboard. They were doing uh, an inquiry in social studies on the formation of Earth and layers of Earth. They did a finding and applying it on the Jamboard in collaborative manner. This is also an art integration. This is a way of depicting their learning. Now you see this, they had put the artifacts Last year, teacher had put the artifacts when they were learning about the different cultures. Their teachers and students brought the artifacts from the house and displayed it. And through that, they created and that they use their visible thinking routines or the strategies to understand. What is it? It was see, think, wonder. See, think, wonder was a strategy that they used there. What is it? They were thinking about it. And then probably going to explore. And after all the research was done, they had all this presentation done. Some presented through the uh, charts, some presented through PPT, some presented through the blogs. They wrote blogs on it. Now we come to the assessment. How art as an assessment can be used to integrate, uh, I'm sorry, how different disciplines that uh, assessment can be used to integrate art and different learning styles. So it's like, this is how the teacher had given the design your own food web in different habitats. Students had to design their own food web for different habitats. So it was more of the visual art creation. They could do it in uh, using different material, but they had to explain it. So that's where came the linguistic style of presentation. They had to present it through the linguistic style. They prepared it through a visual uh, learner style. And both the styles were there. And then, yes, they had to improve on the listening skills there and uh, the auditory skills, what you say, because they had to collaborate. They had their social skills were uh, enhanced because they were collaborating in a group to find out things or individually doing it. Now, when we call about uh, the formative assessment we have taken for some grades, so uh, it talks about how, see the imagine yourself. This is again an imagination question. When you talk about imagine yourself to be in this, this is not a direct question. Never throw a question directly if you want the art integration to happen in assessment. If you want the different learning styles to be uh, incorporated in the pedagogy. So you have to have it done through various ways. There was a sub submitted assessment where the students gave a complete display to the school of whatever the behavior is. It was on a communication, the types of communication. It was a language, aggressive, passive, and assertive communication. Then there's another uh, question that I have put forward here for you to just see, how do you visualize the physical features of Earth 500 years from now? It is more of a linguistic uh, or the language integration here, but it is there coming in social studies. Okay, and then they are going to visualize. They're going to visualize and they're going to represent it visually through a visual art and illustrate it in the form of... Uh, so, when, so when we talk about visual art representation, it is right from any depiction in the form of pictures, comic strips and any other way, when we talk about the kinesthetic, it is dance, PE, other activities they can represent and demonstrate. When we talk about auditory, it can be through the music and other uh, playing the instruments, creating the songs, creating poetry, creating the lyrics, creating, uh, composing their own uh, music and song. That's where it comes to auditory styles. So all these are an essential part of art integration. I'm sure now, I mean, we were never, never looking at art integration from this focus, but yes, it has to be right from the beginning till the assessment, it has to be there. So I, with the limited time, I just come to the end of my presentation and I was just like, this is Kandinsky's art. If you all must have uh, heard of Kandinsky, Kandinsky, uh, uh, is an artist who believed that, okay, uh, everything can be represented through art. So I give you this, a see, think, and conclude, an art to integrate. 
From this, you can take up anything. From this, you can take up animation. From this, you can take up uh, social studies, your language, your science, anything. It is up to the teacher how you present it to the students, what questions you put based on this. Provocation that comes for you to take it forward. I'm done with my uh, sharing of the presentation. And all I would say is art is an integral part of, art integration is an integral part of all the subjects. In fact, I would say all the subjects should be an integral part of each other, rather than being separated into different disciplines. When you teach mathematics separately, when you teach English separately, it doesn't make sense. There is a loss of connect. So when things happen in coordination with each other, then that's where the conceptual understanding comes and the connection is built for lifelong learning. Thank you so much. I'll take up the questions later on. Thank you, Kushbu. Thank you so much, ma'am. That was uh, very interesting. And I'm sure it was very helpful for uh, the audience. And I did see a few messages where they said that uh, the ideas were very creative and very interesting. I would now like to invite uh, our next speaker, uh, Mrs. Sudha Murthy. However, before I introduce Mrs. Sudha Murthy, I would just like to make a few announcements and give a little break to the audience. So Sudha ma'am, if you could just wait for a minute before, so that I could just make the announcement. Thank you ma'am. So the first thing that I would like to proudly inform is that we have our next webinar. And if you could just give me a second to share my screen. We have our next webinar, which is scheduled on the 12th of November. It is by Dr. Shekhar Shashadri, who is a psychiatrist. And the topic for our next webinar is parenting during the pandemic situation. I understand that our today's audience is that of teachers. However, if the teachers are willing to join this and they feel that you know this topic is going to be very helpful for them, you are most welcome to join. And I would also request you to kindly appeal to the parents of your schools to join this webinar and have a wonderful session with us. They will be very helped by this particular session. Of course, everybody needs to understand how to go about with these pandemic situations and what needs to be done during this time. The students have undergone a lot of changes. So those kind of questions will definitely be answered with the help of this webinar. The second thing, as Sir already said, art integration is a vast topic. And since Neelam Ma'am also emphasized on the time crunch, we would also schedule a renewed session on art integration very soon. And just uh, to inform you that some of you are not able to join the meeting because probably are not able to find the link. However, it is for your knowledge that we share the Zoom meeting ID, as you can see in one of our next invites, we share the Zoom meeting ID and the password. We do not share a link. However, we do share the link for you to register. Now, why does your registration help? Only if you register, you will be able to retrieve your participation certificate uh, uh, audience. So if even if you have not registered, for example, for today's webinar, if some of you did not register and directly logged in, I request you to kindly go back to the uh, brochure invite that you must have received or the email invite that you must have received. And please register yourself so that we know your name, your address, and various other details so that we can share your participation certificates with you. And once again, a reminder, our next webinar is on 12th November, which will be between 6 to 7.30 p.m. And I request the audience to kindly spread the word and ask the parents to join this wonderful session so that 
our students and parents both are uh, benefited from the same. I would like to just stop sharing my screen and to introduce Mrs. Sudha Murthy. She is the HOD of uh, Biology in Presidency School, Kastanagar, and she was also the coordinator of the British Council Award for the academic year 2018-19. And I welcome you, ma'am, and the platform is all yours. Thank you. Uh, good evening to one and all present here. Namaste. Uh, um, I first uh, want to say uh, thank you, sir, Tangadurai, sir, for giving me the opportunity. And uh, whatever I am today, it is uh, because of uh, I'm a teacher or oh, having a little bit of experience in the educational field. Uh, and only because of uh, my guru, my mentor, that is uh, Tangadurai sir. And thank you, Kushbu, uh, for uh, uh, giving me such a good introduction. Uh, and uh, to start with, uh, I could see some uh, teachers, uh, whoever is there here, 321 uh, people are here. Uh, I believe all of them are uh, teachers. Very interesting to see them. Some have turned on the video. Very nice. I can see Indira ma'am. Very interesting. She is uh, so excited and looks so in curious to know the things. And also some teachers are sleeping uh, on the bed, resting and watching. No problem. You can see that because it's all about uh, learning. Uh, teachers can learn anyway, I believe. And um, first and foremost, uh, the question, uh, whatever the so far presentation happened, uh, Ms. Nilima ma'am, really wonderful. Uh, even I learned many things uh, from that presentation and uh, very much clarity. She has given very clear indication what exactly is art integration. Taking that uh, into an account, uh, first I want to ask one question to my uh, dear teachers who are present here. Would you like to watch a documentary movie or commercial movie? If it is a given a chance to you, which one would you choose? A documentary movie or a commercial movie? Commercial. Commercial. Okay, how many commercial, how many documentary? You can unmute your commercial. mic. Please say. Documentary. Commercial. 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 Definitely. Documentary. Commercial. Commercial. Documentary. Commercial. Documentary, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Documentary, ma'am. Yeah, Excuse me. Commercial. Documentary, ma'am. Thank you, teachers. Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of uh, participants are very really active in that. And uh, over 10 commercials, I could hear one documentary. Approximately. See, it is all approximations because gathering is more and uh, uh, getting the answer from what clarity. It's, it's all based on uh, approximation. And, uh, and also I heard somebody telling that uh, documentary is boring. Um, yes, documentary, okay, can anyone, uh, I will only choose, I don't know anybody here, um, uh, Pushpalata ma'am, Pushpalata, Pushpalata ma'am, can you unmute yourself and tell me difference between documentary and commercial, only one difference. Difference ma'am. Yes, difference between documentary. Documentary movie is very interesting ma'am for me. You like documentary and you are telling documentary movies are very commercial is not interesting then? I don't know, but I like documentary movies. I'll, you I'll like documentary much. movies. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, liking is different. Having a, giving a different opinion, you know, correct answer. Striking to the point is very important here. So I would request uh, Dr. Uh, uh, yeah, Rumki Tata. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Can you... I don't know the teacher. I'm just looking into the names and I'm trying to talk to them. Or Santil Kumari. Santil Kumari, ma'am, can you can you give me one difference between a documentary movie and a commercial? Yes, ma'am. I prefer documentary, but uh, I could say that uh, most of them prefer uh, uh, commercial because uh, it's more colorful and more masala added to it. And uh, 
uh, it is uh, giving energy, <laughs> but documentary is more informative and uh, more natural and practical. That is why uh, I prefer documentary. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, ma uh -huh. It's understood, ma'am. Documentary means in informative, but of course, commercial means selling, making money. So that is more important in nowadays life. I feel more than a money. Some uh, something is called as an happiness and excitement. And yes, 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 yes. Very. Rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Absolutely right. When you we can't trust it. Commercial will reach, will reach the audience quickly compared to documentary, ma'am. Absolutely, sir. Correct. I consider all these points. Taking all these points, we were. Ma'am, ma commercial uh, is stress free. They believe our stress. Thank you, teachers. I got, I got the answer. What I was expecting. See expectations. What I'm expecting. What my audience are thinking. It is matching. So I conclude that art integration is something a commercial movie, and our traditional teaching is a documentary movie. A traditional teaching gives the information, but the receiving end, the audience, the audience may not enjoy. Not everybody enjoys. If I make my my teaching will be documentary in the beginning. That is giving the information, idea, clarity. It is boring. I have to bring excitement and love towards the subject. Then I add commercial to it. I will make commercialize my concept. That means adding music or theater for the audience like. Why art integration, Nilima Ma'am has given very clear indication. And with that note, documentary and commercial, just one after the other, we have to go. We should not mix it. Art integration is also like that. We have to integrate art to the concept. Do not make art only is, uh, you know, all dance forms. Yes, of course, everything is really important. How do I implement? How will I teach my concepts through different art forms? Okay, my next question is, if at all I want to integrate art, do you think I should know all the art forms? A teacher should know all the art forms. Do you think that we should know everything? Or we should, yeah, we do rely on our teachers who are expertise, specialized uh, in their particular field. We have to take the input. Does it really mean that I should know everything about it? No, not, not necessary. No, not necessary. Who should know? No, not necessary. Very good. Who should know not this? Necessary. Who should know how to learn with joy? If at all, I am good in dance. Everything, whatever is in daily life, even women, many uh, teachers here at home, if at all you are a dancer, even in your, when you are sweeping, you dance, you know, then you don't realize the strain of doing your work. You sweep, you dance. In the same way, the students also, if they can learn the concept and implement to the art, if they are able to express their idea, concepts through a dance, music, theater, clay modeling, drawing, sketching. That's reachable. It should be reachable. It is not necessary that everybody should know everything. It is necessary. What you know is how do you express? That is, I feel, art integration. So with that note, everybody knows art integration. Everybody have idea about it. And CBSE has also given a lot of uh, uh, examples for us to go ahead. Uh, in our school, uh, under the guidance of uh, Tangadurai sir, it's been a lot of deliberation for any one project to come out. It won't come in one step. We will have a lot of editing, editing by sir, and sir's expectations will be added. And then we'll make up our PPT. And I have planned, uh, along with my colleague, uh, her name is, I would like to uh, take her name also because she was also a part in making. Uh, Ms. Jennifer, ma'am. So we both are a parallel teacher for grade 10. Uh, then we started thinking about it. Before CBSE release uh, the art integration modules, our ideology was, okay, do some sketching, coloring, clay modeling, after the any concept is taught. Those are all short-term projects, according to me. It's like you teach something and you tell students to do model for especially three, four, five, uh, clay modeling of the insects, all these things will be something a short term. 
but what cbsc is expecting is a project which brings all the elements in the class class is the term i would like to use because every child will not do everything say for example child a child a is good in some dance may not be good in music art uh, music or uh, drawing or sketching or coloring could be different so here is the very important task as a teacher as a teacher first you should know who are your audience that is your uh, students what is their strength and weakness looking at that will come only with the experience mingling with the t students for a longer period of time then which concept to be given every day we are doing art integration unknowingly i read the chat uh, session also nirmala d ma'am she was telling unknowingly we are doing absolutely you are right ma'am we are unknowingly doing it but now we have to keep it as a record as a record all the records will be in the form of a photos and videos because these are something recordings we have to keep it intact keeping all these things how do i plan i would like to share my plan of action what i have uh, uh, done for my 10 standard student uh, in front of you it it was taken almost um, uh, having the idea of art integration uh, two three meeting and then uh, uh, five to six hours we sat to think and create what we can do so i'm sharing as i'm a biology teacher i have chosen a biology topic and i also chosen a very simple topic where i can reach up to everyone and experimentation on that topic will be very easy so i'm sharing my screen teachers i will also show my our uh, science department team team how they have inculcated a uh, short projects uh, in the art integration later because as a teacher when everybody uh, even among uh, the other schools and within the school there were they had a, a very important uh, uh, you know they wanted to know uh, how do we plan it everybody knows what is art integration how we have to do it how uh, uh, the students have to how uh, the uh, what are the things uh, art integration involves everything no but how do i plan the planning is also given by cbsc the format of cbsc only we are using but we added extra elements uh, to uh, make it interesting so any plan of action say for example uh, for per semester you can plan or uh, i said short projects are there in every chapter within immediately you can give for a mono acting or a drama or anything you can give or based on the concept but we have planned one complete chapter for the art integration uh, experimentation okay this is as it is first time for everyone so we have chosen subject and art integration it is biology what are the things i am integrating here i am giving ppt designing is also art art role play mono acting which comes under theater music dance indian classical dance form predominantly we have to give more importance to indian dance form indian music indian culture yes we can also add other uh, forms as also like uh, ma'am showed the nilima ma'am showed some uh, tatings dance forms and uh, create creating art reservoir using waste materials like model making and puppetry show so how do i do it so first thing we have to plan chapter covered i am i am using sustainable management of natural resources this is a chapter because of the covid pandemic issue this chapter is not there for the final exam assessment so this chapter is only for internal assessment so i will do internal assessment for the, on this particular chapter the other subjects covered transdisciplinary subjects and interdisciplinary subject like what at all is it only the child is studying biology when i am teaching this chapter no the child gets a uh, child gets introduced to certain mathematical concepts economics geography history so basically this chapter includes uh, study uh, of uh, natural resources depletion of the natural resources human activities and people participation in conservation of the forest conservation of the and also uh, the people who fought for the uh, 
uh, good cause for the nation, uh, the people who opposed for the dam buildings, uh, building of the dams, and also how do we uh, use the natural resources judicially. All these things are covered in this particular chapter. So here, mathematics, what are the child is learning subjects covered? Not only biology, they learn mathematics in terms of dimensions of the forest depletion, extent of river pollution. That is where mathematics comes into a track. Then we have economics, effect of forest degradation on Indian economy, how it is affecting our country's economy. History, acknowledging the contributions of personalities who initiated conservation in India. How many people, not today, from the 1670s onwards, we have people who are uh, striving, sending messages to us. And uh, geography, effect of depletion of natural resources on climatic conditions. Indian regional languages popularize the folk songs which highlight importance of conserving forest and other natural resources. This is uh, the project detail for, will be prepared by the teachers, not by the students. Parallel teachers, if you have many sections, all the parallel teachers must be part of it. It's not the one teacher designs, the other teachers doesn't know anything about it, no. Then time required, I have taken, this is a long-term project and we have taken two months because execution, we initiate and because it is a research oriented task and uh, to be given to the students, explanation, beginning, initiation, exploration, applications will take time. Then what are the materials required? As uh, we are in the pandemic issue, all the online classes are going on. We don't have our students uh, with us uh, physically. So uh, the materials required also will be uh, uh, on the online platform, pre-recorded videos by students, PPT designing and presentation by students, props for the role play by students, Microsoft Teams, because our school use Microsoft Teams as a platform, whiteboard for planning activities, that is a teacher interacts with the students in the initial steps, video editing apps, music apps for background music and musical instrument. Then what are the objectives? The students shall be, uh, shall be able to analyze the importance of River Ganga, Namami Gange project. This is purely related to the content, what is given in NCRT textbook, and suggest remedies for cleaning the, cleaning the river. Interpret the use of five or of life. That is also the part of NCRT. Translate the meaning of Atharva Veda through music, because there is Atharva Veda explanation given in the textbook, in the science textbook, uh, for the uh, particular concept. Establishes relationship of forest and wildlife. Appreciate the importance of water for all. Compare and observe the value of coal and petroleum managing the natural resources. So these are my uh, learning objectives and I shall be looking all clear to the students before I begin because students will not know anything um, when the project is given to them, they will initiate their two research only once the teacher gives the guidelines clearly. The guidelines should be very clear when you are integrating art. Just it. Uh, Sudha ma'am, could you please unmute yourself ma'am? Thank you. Yeah. So multi-directional when you are uh, thinking, but the child may not be able to think like a teacher. So the clarity what the child has to do, first you have to go with the unidirection. The teacher should have multi-directional view. Let the students have unidirectional view when we start with any project. Then we have the next is very important methodology. This is what I found that most of these teachers uh, fail to do it. It is, uh, why do they fail to do it? Because improper planning, that's all. Time, you have to give time. You don't give time tomorrow, you go to school immediately, you want to start art integration. No, it's not possible. You have to think, yeah, there are some spontaneous ideas also. I do get spontaneous idea in the class. I go with some plan and based on my students' reaction and uh, the way, the level of understanding, the class will turn into a, a different theater or a, uh, basically a most of the time theater. So it depends on the student's batch which you are handling and also the teacher. 
but before all when uh, any project is taken planning a methodology how do i divide it's i have 35 students in a class and i want all the 35 to be a part of our integration but i cannot give same work to everyone same giving same work to everyone is again a short term art integration project so here it is uh, the entire class can be divided into five to six groups and we have given a catchy name to the teams also to attract the students everything is uh, attracting towards the subject and bringing a happiness to the child so the first and foremost the first step is choose five to six students from the class and the name for the team is drishyam team why drishyam i'll tell you um, and ask them present the design ppt on a sustainable management of natural resources from ncert textbook and google for extra information on paired state uttarakhand a uh, circular number 33 from the cbsc has given clear cut in introduction in that it states that every state in india has been has been given a paired state concept for example karnataka karnataka is paired up with uttarakhand so any of my project art integration project i am doing not only i take up karnataka dance form or any other dance form but i will add a flavor of uttarakhand in it or research on uttarakhand if at all i am talking about uh, water pollution in uh, especially uh, river ganga pollution we do talk and i do connect students to pollutions in my state and also i will connect with uttarakhand see every part of the nation world we cannot connect we are we are taking certain concept and highlighting and then those concepts will be parallel to uh, the other uh, concepts uh, uh, concepts and then the child uh, think vividly so this is uh, increasing the dimension suddenly you cannot uh, uh, go around uh, 3d view we have to start with 1d 2d and three dimensional then extend uh, you know understanding gathering of information so five this is already uh, uh, we have started in our school planning is done execution started and students in the teams they are having meetings with the teachers in the online platform and i got to know many things about uttarakhand which i did not know before so five to six students and entire chapter which is of 10 to 15 pages uh, the chapter is there and page wise concept wise is divided into five to six students and time is given to them to make ppt if a child is doing a slide ppt on a water pollution let, whatever is there in the textbook let him cover up that then he will add one more slide on uttarakhand okay what is the level of water pollution there which are the main rivers flowing there because it is mandatory and that is what paired state concept you have to look into uh, in circular number 33 from the cbsc uh, which state you are in and which state is a paired state for you and uh, you have to guide your students you don't give guidelines then children don't do it if you give guidelines then they will educate you then the second step is let them teach that is let them give seminar explain to the whole class one by one five to six students so somebody will initiate then continue with the systematic order and then the conclusion now here what is the teacher's role how to make ppt number of slides per child it should not exceed more than five to six per child and uh, anywhere the child has glitches to explain to the explain the concept to the students then you get into it you jump into it in between interrupt give the right concept to the child that is drishyam team why it is drishyam because they are giving drishti they are giving presenting ppt drishyam and all it's created by us me and uh, my colleague a parallel teacher we created this names then we have the next stage okay one team is done next total six team for class we have decided you can make it up to your own uh, level you it is your own creativity this is our creativity i am very proud to say that it's our school creativity lot of deliberations under the guidance of sir it has been edited uh, two to three times also uh, for your kind information and uh, five groups the entire team is divided into five groups later drishyam team is done that is the main team who is going to teach the lesson 
teacher under the guidance of the teacher to the entire class the other children will be divided into five more groups like kala i have we have chosen the name as i said earlier kala navarasa natya gaan not necessary you should give the same names you can give any names any kind of a names what you like it okay we liked these names now what is this kala group will do after listening to whatever the explanation given by the students the kala group we have waste management and uh, five hours of life taking that concept under consideration the kala group uh, again there will be five to six students in that group only that five to six there will be one team lead and he or she will uh, you know uh, give the report to the teacher not everybody going and asking doubts will become a problem so there they will learn team work the leader will take the responsibility whatever they have doubts they will call up or message or come online and they discuss with the teacher as a group or as an alone however they want and the teacher gives the guidelines here they make models simple artifacts best out of best and they will also take information on actions taken by paired state on waste management okay is this is done then they will go to the uthrkand of course through virtually through google platform gives us lot of information but every information i cannot gather neither you what is needed what is specific to my concept they will collect and they will display and they will educate to the entire class including the drishyam group so the kala group drishyam group done then we have navarasa group not everything can be done in a day one uh, drishyam or itself to present the ppt it will take 10 days kala group will start their work when the drishyam team is presenting and kala group may require one two days to display and explain what they have done we have to give time to the students then we have navarasa group navarasa itself indicates something related to theater it can because of the pandemic issue uh, we can go for a mono acting role play what is this chapter basically has this chapter has many people participated uh, participation here participation uh, men like amrita dev bishnoi gaura devi ak banerji then we have um, Uh, our own uh, uh, in karnataka we have one more uh, very famous lady called salumara dattimakka we shall take uh, uh, those stories and uh, we will uh, make students will learn about their life and they will enact like them a mono acting they will record the video and they will present it to the students as it is uh, online platform they will present it to the students i request somebody is scratching doing something uh, kindly please stop that i request uh, not to do such things if you are really getting bored you can take a paper side and <laughs> you can scribble teachers <laughs> not on the screen please okay then uh, uh, the navarasa team will perform act but here the students have identified people who participated in saving our environment environmentalist from uttarakhand they have done the research and yesterday i had a meeting with my student and that and they said that ma'am ma'am ma there are three four people who are very famous in uttarakhand ma'am and they have done so and so and so and so look at the uh, you know and they uh, that girl was telling ma'am i want to enact like that person i want to enact like this person see how enacting to enact the child has to do the research just like that they cannot come and enact like amita bachchan and aishwarya rai here these people they should know the story line their achievements and then they can enact like that person so this is about uh, navarasa team then we have natya group natya means dance be, most important you know importance has to be given for indian dance forms but not every child is equipped with a classical dance or a kuchipudi or uh, any kind of kathak no they are not everybody knows everything no problem we give importance to a, a classical dance form but no problem if that particular thing is not there they want to do contemporary or any kind of a dance form please all of them to do but on what basis they are going to dance you have to give this chapter also talks about impact of human activities in the destruction of natural resources the students are studying in the chapter so they have to look into what are the things given in the textbook they have to understand and then they have to present it in the form of a dance 
and of course they have to touch upon dance forms of spirit state they can and even in page uh, uh, art integration module which is given by the cbsc page number 19 all the dance forms music forms of different states is already given we did not do research it's already there they have done the research the handbook is with us just we have to flip through the pages so when i was discussing natya group no um, yeah, again i told you my children will be keep on calling you should be available to the students you should be accessible you know you have to be very open to the students idea then only you will get to know the new things which you have never come across in that way the i would like to mention the name of the child also atmika uh, from 10a class she shared one video to me it is of 2.17 minutes only and it is so beautiful it is available in the youtube we have youtube google many things are there but select only one which is best for your student i would like to show the dance form something pertaining to this particular concept that is uh, human activities in the destruction of nature impact of human activities i will just share that this to many teachers then i'll continue what is next groups are doing so we have some call me nature others call me mother nature i've been here for over 4 and a half billion years 22,500 times longer than you i don't really need people but people need me Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans my soil my flowing streams my forests they all can take you or leave you how you choose to live each day whether you regard or disregard me doesn't really matter to me one way or the other your actions will determine your fate not mine I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? i hope the dance form has given lot of impact to uh, impact on us and also we have understood how the child has to perform do you think really we uh, i think uh, all of you can raise your hand as an acknowledgement of your appreciation for this child raise your hands in appreciation of this child so these are the things you know i did not know about this dance you know uh, and my students got to me they said ma'am there is this type of dance forms are there and the child atmika shetty and uh, ahana they are all planning to do this and they are telling ma'am we will narrate the story we will take a music line and we will narrate based on what the topic demands so this is where we have a platform for the child to think you are just only telling natya group will do this much you are your work is done allow them to do the research they will come with a lot of ideas such a beautiful bharatanatyam classical dance form you can add see not mandatory that bharatanatyam because not everybody are classical dancers in a class 
a normal Bollywood dance also can be converted into uh, music you can take and the wordings can be added by a child. Nowadays, there is no editing. Every child, they know more than us. Then uh, the next group, okay? See, almost 70, 80% uh, of my class students have performed and the role is over. Now I'm going to document the other two groups. The other two groups, what are those two groups? The, usually I pick up those students who are good in singing, uh, music composition, lyrics writing, I will choose them. And they will be made into a group called Ghana group where they will pen down the lyrics what lyrics, what song they have to write? They have to write song on the topic given by the teacher. What is the topic given? Conserve, how to conserve natural resources and recite it in the form of a song. Of course, we can include uh, Uttarkan music as a flavor. I told you, parent state concept, you have to keep it in our mind. And the child, you know, they are coming out. They said, some children said, ma'am, we are not good in Indian uh, songs, but I am good at rap. Okay, go ahead. You can do singing, do anything you want. Choose given the concept. Then last one, uh, we have chosen Katputli. Very interesting, you know, a uh, uh, puppetry show in English, we can say. And here, uh, revision has to happen. Everything is done. Who will summarize? Katputli will summarize. They can make a simple puppets using a newspaper or a chart paper, not much of, uh, you know, deliberation should not be given. The way they come out, even they can use their fingers, eyes, nose, they can draw and they can depict. Narration is very important here. The entire chapter will be narrated like a puppetry show by five to six students at the end. So that's my revision for the concept. I involved all my 35 students of the class for the art integration. We have five sections of 10 standard. All the sections are doing, same planning is applied. All the 10 standard students, all the sections are given, but some children will do Drishyam, some children will do Navarasa, some children will do Kala, some will do Natya, Gana, Katputli, but what the other children are doing, the entire class is aware of. They know what is happening in the class. That is why I bring collaboration teamwork and healthy competition. I want to be the best. Navarasa team should be the best. One child is writing script now. She is writing script and dialogues. Child name is Pariza from Tensu. She is narrating one story, mono acting. She is doing and she is telling ma'am, we are acting like this. And she told ma'am to change. All the uh, female characters will be done by boys and all the male characters are done by girls. It is so interesting because they want to bring something new. And whatever the costumes available at home, I'm not hiring. And very important thing, non-biodegradable substances should not be used anywhere. We have to go for biodegradable and non-expensive. You cannot put the child under pressure. I want some costumes like that. Whatever is available. Whatever is available at, in their house, around there, where they can borrow and do it, that's fine. These are the conditions we have to you know, uh, we have to you, we have to help the students. That's main. That's the main mode of art integration. Do not pressurize. If that you divide the class and one child will come and say, "Ma'am, I am not good in Nadi. I am good in Ghana," but don't pressurize. But there are children who always takes uh, things. I will not do that. Anything you have given, they don't like to do that. In that time, you should be very rigid and you should say, "No, you have to do this. You learn and do it. Anything is possible. Nothing is difficult." You know, ABCD, anybody can dance, like our remote discussers movie, you know, anyone can dance, just anyone can be an artist, everything, the brain capacity for all humans is same. Only who is activating that nerve impulse is what matters. So causing the stimulus work is our job, getting the reaction, giving the proper reaction is student's job and compilation. So as a note, uh, due to COVID pandemic, teacher guides the students to video record the activities assigned to them and upload the textual content in OneNote app. Uh, that's what we follow, wherever platform you have. Later, the best will be video will be uploaded in President's YouTube channel. We have our YouTube channel and, uh, and we will be uploading under the guidance of our principal, director principal, sir, uh, uh, sir's permission. And probably at that time, you all can see it is going to really, I am dreaming to see most wonderful things from my students. Uh, let us see.
Then the last ending of this action plan, learning outcome. What is the learning outcome? Classify the student, uh, classify the different methods to conserve natural resources. Recognizes the work of people like Amrita Devi, Bishnoi, Gaura Devi, A.K. Banerjee, Dr. Rajendra Singh, Medha Patil, Sundarlal Bhavguna, Salu Maradati Makka, and students have added more people from Uttarakhand state also. The environmentalist names have come. And uh, last, reasons out the importance of fossil fuels, water harvesting methods to conserve planet Earth. So then self-evaluation, and these are our resources. So this is how we have to go about uh, uh, art integration project. There are short art integration project which we have done in our school, uh, that is uh, grade three. This is a uh, art integration because small children, uh, we have to plan very sensitively what they are capable and but parents involvement is very important for grade three, four and five. So we have to take parents under uh, you know, consideration. And then these are the, some of the samples, coloring activity, shading, they, they have taken the leaf from the garden available. They try to replicate through the diagram and the coloring and even the leaf shading, they keep the leaf under the page and they can shade it. That's, this is our school teachers uh, who have done this and the bird uh, to teach uh, feet of the birds. Uh, they have made the students to draw. And the most interesting and very well appreciated by sir for us, for our teachers was a digestive system model. Can you believe it? It is grade four students who have done this. Uh, okay, and the chapter is food and health. Clay model was used to make a digestive system and they have presented. And then we have uh, many more uh, such like that. Uh, few uh, very interesting. Yeah, this is one interesting. Uh, grade five children, food, uh, health and uh, diseases chapter. They have, this is all online platform, online teaching. They have done, taken the photo and teachers have compiled it. You can see our own students here. And they have made uh, by using paper. I told you, uh, uh, do not use thermocol and all because they are non-biodegradable biodegradable materials. We have to encourage to students to use clay, paper, cotton box, uh, so, something like that, which is biodegradable materials. The child has made the model differentiation between junk and the healthy food. Uh, so these are short-term projects for smaller children. And uh, then we have, um, you can see here, our environment, they have made charts and posters, and uh, you can see this child is, uh, these are all online presented, and our teachers have taken the photographs of it. And then uh, uh, we have grade six was again, uh, something which was very interesting. Culinary, you know, cooking is also an art. So food and its sources, cooking without fire. The children from their houses, you can see this is not school. They are doing from their house, their kitchen. Uh, you know, they are cooking food, healthy food without fire, uh, so that uh, they will talk about nutrition, mineral requirements for the body, and how a balanced food is needed for the growth and development of a human. That is what they are explaining here. You can see this is our own students from Presidency School, Kasturi Nagar. And you can see to add, I said you, aesthetic beauty. To increase the aesthetic beauty, the child has made herself as a chef. You know, as she has worn apron and headgear, everything. That looks so interesting. You know, students love to do all these things. And they are learning the nutrition value and what they have to, uh, not only they are learning what to write in the examination, they are also learning human values. Okay, and not to waste the food. They will learn like that. Grade seven, we have done, uh, you know, um, the acid bases and salts, our chemistry teachers. They were, see, the students are doing everything they are doing. Guidance is given by the teacher. Uh, as I said, time is time what needs. You cannot rush. Uh, if at all you are thinking to finish the concept and uh, go to the next concept and chapter getting over, then it is not possible. You have to spend time, talk to them, interact. And grade eight students, force and pressure, they have written a story, comic strip. Comic strip is written on force and uh, it's a physics, force and pressure. You can see comic strips, beautifully narrated, very nice, interesting stories are there. And our grade nine st students, Newton's laws of motion. They have, uh, you can see here, uh, they have created a digital content. 
a digital content where a journal, digital journal on applications of Newton laws of motion. This is also an art, see? These are only few samples. And then chemistry grade nine, everybody knows about this chromatography, okay? So the chromatography, what is chromatography? What are the applications of chromatography? And integrating art with the chromatography papers, filter papers after chromatography. These are the patterns they got it. And then we have uh, grade 10 physics, magnetic effects of electricity. You know, the children used magnets to create art. So these are something which makes students interest, you know, it gives happiness and liveliness. These are short term projects. And the life process chapter, of course, everybody, this whatever you are showing, it is common to every child in the class. But whatever I showed in the beginning, that is a specific. There requires a planning. This is immediately, instantly you can give. The children life process, all the diagrams from the life process, they have drawn, they have done the coloring based on the color of the organ. Like kidneys are brown, the lungs are pink, heart is red, uh, the guard cells are green, uh, the leaf uh, cross section. See, it, it, you should use, uh, you should guideline, guidelines must. So this is our index page and uh, sample students, whatever they have done, uh, they have done very beautifully. So that this create, these are short term art integration uh, concepts on the spot you will make them to do and you can keep it as a record ultimately what is this what you need is a record a record of everything this one it's we are still executing it uh, probably in one month's time uh, by december first week we will end we will have a big dossier on grade 10 uh, art integration project so I have uh, taken a lot of videos from the internet also, but uh, the time uh, is very less with me. So as a result, uh, I conclude uh, uh, what uh, we have understood and what uh, we have learned with collaboratively and I have presented to you. Uh, thank you teachers for listening to me and uh, thank you sir for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sudha, ma'am. That was very informative and very uh, creative as well. And just uh, to let the others know that Presidency School Kasturi Nagar is in Bangalore. So because as we know that participants are from various states and various countries also, if I'm not wrong. So just for everyone to know, Presidency School Kasturi Nagar, uh, the projects that were shown by Ms. Sudha are all from one of the schools yeah, which is in Bangalore. Thank you, Siva ma'am, once again. It was very, very interesting. And I'm Thank sure you, you have spoken from your experience. You've got this one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction with the students. We know as teachers what uh, our students are capable of and what are their uh, demands or what would be beneficial for them. So I'm sure that this was very uh, useful for the participants. With that, I would like to hand over the platform to Sir and thank you once again, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Kushbu. Thank you to all uh, dear teachers who are present here. Very nice, ma'am. Thank you. You are all uh, excellent. Yeah. Good are presentation, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Very Sudha, uh, ma'am. Just one uh, question from my side. Yes, I'm from Maharashtra. Yes, ma'am. A little, uh, a little bit confusion is there for me. Yeah. Uh, the topic which we have explained as a uh, art integration, and actually means uh, uh, I don't know whether it is uh, miss. Uh, understanding by my side uh, that chapter or topic which we have selected uh, it is for only project and one more topic for, for the internal assessment ma'am it is only for the internal assessment it is clearly mentioned in the curriculum copy please yeah. the curriculum and see at the end it is mentioned internal assessment only ah, okay so that because... we have taken so that the students enjoy doing that there is yeah. a lot we are learning. We, we see that's a core aspect of uh, 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 right. So okay. examination point means definitely they will study. If it is not coming for the examination, do you think students will touch upon the concepts? Okay, that uh, is uh, absolutely right. That is a uh, internal assessment. But mm -hmm. one more topic then as a art integration. One more topic we have to select. 
from the other lesson yes, it is up to a teacher how do you document it that that's how i every chapter i have an art integration every chapter but this is a deliberate and very well planned art integration for every chapter we cannot make ma'am every chapter i told you the other slide i showed like life process yeah, yeah. you know i can make a role play on digestive system i can make a role play on grade uh, you don't imagine grade 11 students of mine can mm. impact mitosis and meiosis mm. my school children yeah. are uh, uh, selected for periodic uh, that uh, elements classification okay, of periodic mom if you want i have the one uh, uh, song periodic song everybody knows and i have also uh, seen a uh, you know play role play on uh, periodic uh, elements period on the elements of the periodic table so the child will wear um, uh, basically she will wear an uh, symbol elements so say for example hydrogen h is born uh, you know making by the chart paper the child will wear and she will come on the stage and she says that i am hydrogen i am so and chemical properties of the hydrogen and the, whatever the atomic number everything they will say and she will also react with oxygen to show water yeah yeah thank you same you thing we have done do right? like yeah. yeah same thing yeah. along with the puppet to show also we made sure yeah, ma'am you can do anything you want it is but which chapter see not everybody all the elements some elements you give like halogens you give it as a role play and some very highly react to organ react to elements no highly react to elements you must give them dance kind of a big dance thank you so much something like that yeah yeah thank yes. you so much yeah divide every concept you divide don't give entire class dance don't give mm. that halogens mm. uh, the elements of the p block will do skip elements of this one will do the di diagrams coloring also you can do you get yeah. class there is the yeah. art there exactly is what is time consuming you have to work behind school hours everything okay. you do it you have to sit at home peacefully take your take your teachers uh, with you okay. over the phone talk motivate that's what we do in our school sir motivates us and we motivate our team that's okay. the thing what we have to take care thank you so good much good one ma'am that's a good okay. one even i have a dance i have seen a dance in the youtube for physics teachers on the vector uh, displacement dance they have done the dance to uh, express show rotate circular motion rotatory motion reflect beautiful yeah. dance forms are there da drama science dramas are there so yeah it is there uh, many are there actually i have everything on my desktop but unfortunately lack of time you have to explore you know okay thank you so much yes ma'am thank you aparna ma'am yeah anybody has any doubt you can ask uh, yes ma'am i want to know that how you have performed the uh, colors of the egg experiment for class 7th colors of the egg uh, for class 7th standard yes, you have uh, acid base uh, reaction uh, which was uh, done by chemistry teachers and they have used uh, uh, different acid base reaction what does it gives uh they have done lot of deliberate research and then they have made the students to do it ma'am can you please share the link that uh, or the page that uh, you have shown that how they are all yeah, ma'am th that uh, yeah sure ma'am that ppt is under uh, uh, principal sir uh, you can request sir uh, and uh, then we can do it but that is purely our academic process kept it here okay because you it's a new thing you should googling you do ma'am you will get to know Uh, what should i write on the google for this uh, you have to uh, reactions of the eggshells on acid bases and salts because i am a chemistry teacher and i first time i saw that you are experimenting on the eggs for showing the acidic and basic yes, reaction ma yes ma'am actually i am not a chemistry person to give you a complete idea but uh, uh, that's that's what i can give you a clue that you can just do a googling just little bit research one way one uh you know um, thumb you need to use finger you need to use to search we all do googling lot of research we do you will get better what you saw is one one uh, uh, part of it like that acid base and salts in our class and school we have uh, very senior most teachers like uh, maitri um, and kartika they are excellent in their uh, vibrant thinking so like that you people can work together and have a you know uh, research and you can do it ma'am okay ma'am okay thank you ma'am thank you so much for a wonderful session ma'am yes ma'am thank you ma'am uh 
sir shall i end the yeah yeah thank ah. you sir yeah. Uh, yeah okay thank you, uh, thank you. and uh, uh, mrs uh, neelam p both of you for your wonderful presentation interaction uh, i'm sure there will be a lot of questions raised uh, you can always get back to us with your questions uh, we will see how it can be answered however still uh, we can take a few questions if uh, people are interested uh, it's always uh, uh, direct questions is always uh, encouraging uh, however since uh, we are running short of time uh, we would take the question even in your email when you send uh, i we always believe and i think we all have a mindset that we need to collaborate and work and uh, you can see the result and uh, of a collaborative work and uh, it's also very experiential and uh, uh, any teacher any part of the country you are welcome to write to me if you want to present any of your experiences on our platform this platform is open to all this is a very philanthropic approach where we are trying to support and mentor teachers and uh, it is a trust which runs and we are all for you so if any teacher who wants to make a presentation way the sudha did and we have a couple of more teachers in our school who can do a wonderful job on this uh, we will definitely bring in many of these resources uh, <clears throat> there are very experienced speakers as well but something which comes from the heart of a person a enthusiastic speaker a teacher uh, basically uh, shares a uh, good practices so if any of you are interested to share your good practices you're most welcome to write to us we will try to see if possible we can have four or five in a in a panel we can make a panelist and also we can discuss there are various ways by which i have a plan to take this uh, the webinar it's not always a ppt and presentation i would also like to have a conference of speakers uh, where uh, i would like to connect some speakers from abroad also i am trying to get some good speakers from abroad to see what they are doing the countries like finland countries like usa so it's it we are going to widening our <coughs> sharing platform it's basically a sharing platform i would say care and share is uh, our motto and you are always welcome to write to us and we will always respond all the questions or any queries or any of your initiative which you would like to share to the entire country i'm i, I tell you uh, i have a connection across the country and as i see some of my uh, schools in uh, in in the middle east also is there i have a, a, from my old school in reliance uh, and in gujarat they have joined us so uh, and i have teach uh, i mean even teachers from punjab uh, a huge lot of it from tamil nadu so you see you are you are sharing your experiences with so many teachers that is a kind of a sense of fulfillment for a teacher when she says or he shares his good practices with others and this platform is meant for that so you are most welcome and another request is that be a sustainable member because then you not only take home you also internalize the system you see uh, listening to one webinar and closing and going and getting a certificate is 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 okay fine uh, it's one kind of an experience uh, but being with us because we will all take those components which would help you in your online platform as well as well as uh, hopefully when we get back to our normal classes uh, and the, the idea is supporting and mentoring and uh, we would also like to mentor teachers on an individual basis uh, if they write to us uh, so it was a very wonderful session today and uh, i really uh, appreciate mrs neelam's 
value of time and she being a principal of a leading school in Bangalore, she has given us a lot of time and that to which a very short notice she was able to come. And of course, I, I see a, a Sudha, a great star performer uh, of uh, future. Uh, and similarly, I will look forward for many stars among uh, 652 registered. Uh, I think uh, 335 uh, uh, logged in. Um, so I think we will have a galaxy of speakers in, in the near future. Thank you all. Wish you all the best.